Hi guys, this is a uh, unboxing and review of the Insteon water leak sensor. It's a box. So apparently this device uh, comes with a lithium ion uh, double-A battery. Pa packaging is like very Apple-esque. Their support isn't very good. I tried calling uh, with a question and had to wait like half an hour and still no pickup. So I, I just decided to drop off. Here's the instructions. Not much of an instruction. Uh, I guess you're supposed to go online to get get the documentation. So here's the device. It's wrapped in some um, plastic. Okay, hold on. So it's just an antenna, and this is where you pry open the uh, battery uh, when you need to change it. And this is a, a multi function button. So the button is used to pair with your controller as well as uh, reset um, the device. I'll show you what I mean by that. So first off, let's uh, pair it. Uh, I have an Insteon hub. I also have the ISY, but the Insteon hub seems to be the simplest you go to um, add a device and then you choose so you go to add a device and then you choose leak sensor and it tells you to hold the button until it begins to blink and then you tap the set button and it'll begin double blinking so a quick press that was double blinking you hit next it's searching for the sensor finds it does the communication so it's done oops you press the button and then it goes back to normal and uh, I'll call this first floor bathroom. Done. I don't want favorite. I don't want it to be in any room membership, scene membership and alerts. So uh, with the alerts, you can set it to dry alert and wet alert. And if you click into here, you can put in uh, the message and the recipient. And I won't click into it because it has my email address. Um, so, uh, time to test it. So right now it shows unknown. Mm, that's just the way it is once uh, you have the device. So the way you are supposed to test it is uh, you get the sponge. I don't have a sponge. I have some wet paper. And uh, there are two contacts in the back. And all you do is you contact it. See, leak detected. So, um, the, the issue, the, the old ones, what happens is once you take it off, 
Um, once you take it off of the wet substance, it will automatically go back into dry. But uh, these new ones, what they want you to do is you have to physically press the button to, to turn it back into dry. So if I press it, it will go back into dry. It's called reset. So the reason why they do it, I said I, I was, I told you that I, I tried to call them, uh, and after half an hour I had, I, I had to drop off. But uh, I sent them an email and they replied saying that that's the intended function because they want you to go and check to see if there's any, you know, water or any issue uh, at the location. So it kind of makes sense. So let's try it again. Now it's not working. I reset it. Oh, there it goes. It wasn't wet enough, probably. Because now I'll dry it up a little bit. So now it detected the leak again. Press just to reset. So now you're ready to put this under um, wherever you plan to put it. I put it. I'm planning to put it at the first flow path. I can show you what it looks like uh, with an alert. So. It sends push alerts too. See, once once it detects a leak, it'll take you to the leak. And you can press the button to reset. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's the. It's, it's beautiful. It um, it works, and I uh, hope it will save me some money from any type of flood damage so uh, thanks for watching uh, leave a comment below if you have questions and uh, don't forget to subscribe